yeah uh, the difference between the n type and p type materials uh, these n type and p type materials are called extrinsic semiconductors uh, the intrinsic semiconductors are silicon and germanium if we add uh, uh, some materials to intrinsic semiconductor it converted into extrinsic semiconductor that is called doping the doping means uh, uh, increases the impurity levels um, okay and the conduction level also we can increase by uh, by adding uh, some impurities is called doping the extrinsic semiconductors are two types one is n type and another one is p type so in n type uh, I, I am giving you one trick to find out the n type materials and p type materials okay in n type material uh, bismuth arsenic antimony and uh, phosphorus okay in p type material uh, it is called uh, like in this uh, we have materials like uh, boron kalium indium and uh, aluminium these are the materials in a p type uh, semiconductors so first uh, of all we uh, will learn uh, which which of the following materials uh, is come under n type materials or uh, p type materials every uh, competitive exam there is a one question from these two uh, semiconductors uh, so uh, we learn uh, this topic very accurately and uh, what is a shortcut means uh, we know the uh, which is used for the uh, semiconductors okay uh, this n type normally this is a donor type we are calling this donor i will tell you why it is called donor type uh, this is called acceptor okay in this acceptor this p is there now so this is p type materials in this n is there now so this is n type material so it is a shortcut for this one and uh, i will give you one thing okay uh, this is n type n type means this is called pentavalent impurities pentavalent this is trivalent so they are asking from uh, uh, they are asking like uh, which of the following materials is a pentavalent uh, impurity which of the following is a trivalent impurity they are asking like that only they are not asking like which of the following is n type which of the following is a p type so we are uh, remembering from uh, this point of view so the uh, uh, the trick is uh, bismuth and we take the from first letters b a a p and p bap bap is used for the remembering pentavalent impurities and this is the like we are we are taking from b a g i t bagi t so this is for trivalent impurity bap uh, all of you know what is the meaning of bap <coughs> so bismuth arsenic antimony phosphorus is used for the uh, p type materials and bagit bucket boron aluminium gallium indium for the trivalent impurities trivalent we just remember the shortcuts and uh, this pentavalent is there na pentavalent we know how it comes i will tell you uh, actually in the uh, intrinsic semiconductor there is a four valency electrons four valency electrons we are just uh, uh, symbolizing the electron symbol like this so if you add one electron okay if you add uh, one electron it it is uh, five electrons correct outermost orbit uh, is called valency electrons so outermost orbit intrinsic semiconductor have have intrinsic semiconductor have four valency electron at outermost orbit if you add one more electron that is uh, total five five electron valency electrons so it is called outermost orbit have uh, 
like the outermost orbit have uh, five electrons so uh, five electrons means more negatively charged so this is comes under n type material so this is n type <coughs> if you remove one electron from uh, this uh, valence electron it is uh, four three uh, three electrons so less number of electrons so it comes as a positively positive type so these are the basic things we need uh, uh, the difference between they are asking from this question at least one question they are asking uh, <coughs> so five outermost orbit it have five five outermost uh, five electrons it have three electrons they are asking this is a fifth group elements these are the third group element they are asking from any uh, any uh, any way they are asking what is the third group elements what are the fifth group elements so uh, uh, we definitely they are asking uh, from the, the, uh, this kind of way what is a trivalent and what is a pentavalent impurities they are asking like that we can directly uh, identify the from the shortcut bap and bagit bap and bagit uh, bap means you know very well bagit uh, bagi bagya lakshmi like you can remember this one okay uh, and most probably uh, i will ask you one question uh, you simply uh, write on comment for this otherwise i will tell you later uh, both uh, p and n type materials both p type and n type materials are electrically neutral it's a very important question uh, i seen very uh, around Ten, ten times in the uh, competitive exam electrically they are uh, they are simply asking both p type and n type materials uh, electrically dash they are asking like that option a uh, positive charge negative charge c option negative like positive c option both are neutral uh, d option any of the above depending on the doping any of the abo uh, on doping doping concentration they are giving uh, some example uh, some exams they are giving none of them some some uh, exams they are giving uh, doping level that is depending on the doping most probably all the students are uh, putting the answer is a positive charge and negative charge so the correct answer is both are neutral if anyone knows well please uh, write on comment otherwise i will tell you later thank you